<laughs> the first training was very hard. It was very difficult. And I said to myself, like, hey, I'm not going to play here. Or <laughs> else they, I'm gonna, they will kill me one day because mm. the training was too intense. We are here with Super Eagles and Slavia Prague. Superstar Ola Inka, Peter Ola Inka, Peter, thank you for having us for sports. Nice to, nice to have you. Yeah, so when did you actually want to start playing football? At what age did you say, you know what, I want to start playing football. Football is what I want to do. Uh, I think that was um, 2010. Because before I, I used to play um, like the normal, every young player, just playing on the street, playing like for fun, playing football for fun, without any promising uh, future, you know, yeah. it's just playing. 2010, I went for a trial, yeah, 2010. So I got picked and um, I met uh, coach John Takwe, which was uh, the organizer of the um, event. And after the uh, Aspire competition and stuff, so I went uh, to train with this, uh, this man and <laughs> the first training was very hard, it was very difficult. And I said to myself like, hey, <laughs> I'm not going to play here. <laughs> or else they, I'm gonna, they will kill me one day because mm. the training was too intense, like very, very intense. And I've never trained like that in my life before. You know, so I, after that training, I left. Actually, we were three, they picked. So the, we, the three of us are like discussed and said, hey guys, we are not coming again because this training is too hard. That was how I left. But along the line, this man, you know, kept uh, looking for me, like, where is this guy, that slim guy, you need to, to bring that slim guy, that, that I liked him. And I was like, ah, man, I'm not coming, you know, this kind of training, I can't do that, I can't do it at all. So, so then this man made me realize that, see, if you want to play football, if you want to be like a big player, you want to achieve a lot in football, you have to work hard. You have to be determined, you have to be disciplined, you know, all those things. So then I sat and I said, OK, if this is what it is, then how we go with this man? So this is how when this is when I made up my mind that, OK, I will play the football. OK, that's good. Some players, they get to play for the national youth team, either under 17 or under 20 before they go to Europe. How did you get to go to Europe? How did you like, how did that happen? Come about. Uh, you know, after after the training and everything that I did with the man, then I got visa to Albania. So uh, this this um, country is where I uh, have never heard about before. I don't even know where it is. You know, I just know it's Europe. And as long as I can leave Nigeria, there's this hope of being, you know, professional football player. So <laughs> when I got uh, the visa, I, I left, you know, I went to Albania and uh, started playing. It wasn't easy, you know, my first time traveling, I was 16 years old then, and it was really hard for me, it was difficult. The weather was very cold, you know, and my first time leaving Nigeria, I don't even know what to do. And uh, even at then, my salary was not even, <laughs> it was not even it at all, so. Then I, st I keep playing because I know what I want. I know who I want to be. I know where I want to be. So this this is um this is what keeps um make me uh, keeps me going forward. Like I keep looking forward. Like okay, this is what I want to achieve. I want to be. I want to play because before I left, I, I watch um a lot of games like Champions League, Europa League, Premier League. You know those kind of matches, and. Seeing myself in Europe, I believe I, I, I can play Champions League or any of these tournaments. So these are the things that keeps me moving forward. You left at a very young age and you, you obviously you talk about how Abinia is like. And obviously moving from Nigeria to Europe, did you experience any form of racism or like challenges you faced in, in going to Europe from Nigeria for the first time? I think the first one was um, in Abinia. You know, um, it was really hard. Yes, there, um, it's it's kind of complicated. You can't uh, look at their girls anyhow. You know, you can't just walk about anyhow. Because where I was then was like, you know, this uh, all this um, village. Yeah. It's like a typical village. So you can't just do anyhow. So if you if you are going on the street, you are standing at the girls, or some guys can come to you and start to fight with you. Like, why are you looking at her? Even and this guy is not even relative with the girl. Yeah. So, you know, it's just yeah. like all these kind of things, like, 
like guys looking at you laughing you know all this kind of shit and stuff mm -hmm. so but i don't care you know <laughs> for me this is not that was not why i was there i want to play football i want to use them as my stepping stone you know mm. but i think that was the only time yeah so you've been at slavia prague since 2018 yeah we've already talked about your career from albania to i think you were in belgium for a while also yeah so now let's talk about Slavia Prague. You've been in Slavia Prague since 2018. How has it been? Just talk about it in general. We are going to talk about the Barcelona Champions League. <laughs> but let's just talk about Slavia Prague for four years. How has it been? Hmm, wonderful. It's wonderful. Because at least four years I've won uh, three titles and two cups. You know, it's it's wonderful. And um, I've, I've learned a lot, you know, and... Uh, more experienced. I'm like now I can say I'm more experienced and I have I have a lot of games. You know, I have goals. I, I think um, I'm enjoying like uh, my best time there so far this season, you know. So it's 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 really amazing. It's really amazing because uh, we've, we've got uh, a lot of history together. I love um, big games. We won a lot of big games and some special moment a lot of special moment let's talk about like in 2019 yeah barcelona versus slavia Prague, and actually like for a lot of people for a lot of nigerians and even me i'm a barcelona fan <laughs> so like to see you on tv playing at the camp Nou against the likes of pk um, Lionel messi like Tell us what the experience was like, like and that, that the result was a shock result also that like zero zero at camp. Like, tell us yeah. what the experience was like. You know, uh, uh, when we got to to Barcelona, you know, we arrived at the hotel. We, after that, uh, the next day we went to to the stadium, you know, for training. So when we got there, I saw the stadium. I was like, wow, this is this is this is big. This is something huge, you know, like. I I, I I was for a moment like pause for a moment mm. and thinking about it like wow so this is what you see on TV now you are here to play the next day I said to myself like okay tomorrow we will see what will happen but I'm going to give my best you know mm. and the next day you know I wasn't even afraid of anything I don't know why I don't know so I was so determined I was so like like that okay if at all everyone knows that we're going to lose but today I'm going to prove myself like I want to play. I just want to have fun, you know, like just play. I don't know what came over me. You know, I was just playing. I was just playing, you know. At the point, I, f I was feeling myself like, no, I can do more. I can, you know, I can easily destroy them because I saw that, that, that was, there was a lot of space for, to, to play around with the ball. There was a lot of space to play around with the ball. You know, nobody's running after you. you know, I saw like, ah, this football is different. This is another level of football, and this is um, the mem this is a memory I will forever be grateful for, and um, I will keep on my palm to the rest of my life. Your record as the top scorer for Slavia Prague in Europe. What does that mean to you, and how do you continue to improve at Slavia Prague? Um, you know how it started was that um, I came there 2018 and. Before I came, I, I said to them, like, I just, I'm here to make history, to make uh, to make record, you know, mm. to have history with the club. Like, they can, when they mention Slavia Prague, they can mention my name, you know. And um, to God be glory and everything worked as planned, you know. And uh, I keep scoring and it keeps coming. <laughs> you understand that uh, I'm very grateful, grateful to have this, um, opportunity and to be the highest goal scorer for them after a very long year with some uh, Dushka or something like that. So it's, it's a very big privilege for me. You, yeah, obviously you're a married man. Yeah. And how is married like <laughs> and how is marriage and football because we know it's not, it's not easy to be a married man and, to, and also to be a father. You have a kid also. So how do you balance your life between football and, and, and marriage? Um, it's, it's, um, it's very simple, you know. My family, I make sure they are with me, you know. I, I go to training, I come back home, have fun. Even when it's a um, bad day at office, I know I have family at home. 
that would make me smile, you know, I have my baby and so I think they are my biggest inspiration. You've been in Slavia for a while now. Yeah. And we know Nigerians. Nigerians like like obviously the people who follow football follow, they get mm -hmm. to know about Epita Lanka. But we know that like for Nigerian interests in that kind of Western Europe in Spain, yeah, in England, that is where you know the Premier League. Like, do you, is that something you want to do? Do you want to come to the Premier League, that side of Europe and like just uh, be house with me? You know, I, I always say, say this, like, um, it's not everybody that will play in Premier League, Spanish League, Syria and stuff like that. Or I wish to play in Bundesliga. You know, I, that's my biggest that, That's a top league also. Yeah, yeah, league. yeah, really for me. I don't really care about playing in Premier League. I don't know why, but I, 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 I'm dreaming. Of, my dream is to play in Bundesliga. You're a fantastic footballer, but apart from football, what do you like do like for fun and what do you do for business? Like some people say ah, okay. they invest in real estate or they buy you. Uh, yeah, I think that mm. for every footballer as of now, I think uh, real estate is a means of doing business, you know, for every, every footballer. I, I, not every, most footballer, mm. because you know, like, you don't. You won't have time to do some other things while you are in training for match, traveling here and there, you know. Mm. So for me, I'm, I do uh, real estate, you know. And also, I like to after training, I like to sleep. I like to play PlayStation. I like to do um, like um, go for like playing tennis or table tennis or or playing snookers and you know all those things I do after football. Before we go, we know that very soon your, your contract will be running out to it and you may choose to extend it, but what is your plan? Do you want to extend or do you want to, what is your plan for the next summer transfer window? Um, as it is right now, you know, they are trying to renew, to, to renew the contract and then, but we'll see what will happen. So Your fingers, <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to it, Yeah, yeah, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah, and if they if they don't renew you, they'll be foolish to not to renew you. Exactly, Hopefully, that's how it is. Uh, yes, yeah. again with Super Eagles star Slavia Barak for Peter Lanka. Thank you so much for having us on Passport. Thank you for inviting us to your home, and we hope to also in the future. We wish you the best of luck with your club, and in the future we hope to also do another interview with you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.